Hi there, artists. So I am so excited for making some art to make some art with you today. We are going to make some art inspired by this book, The Biggest House in the World by Leo Leone. And so we are going to make a snail. We're even going to be using real seashells. Ooh, ah. So what we're going to do is today we're going to get model magic. That's right, folks. We get to use model magic. So, um, your model magic is going to be white and squishy, kind of like a marshmallow, but it smells funny. And remember that whatever we build today, though, is just going to stay that way. So, we're going to build our snail out of the white model magic, but you might not want to have a white snail. So, if you don't want to have a white snail, this is how we change our model magic's color. So I'm gonna just get it a little bit squished out and I'm gonna pick a color that I'd like it to be, um, any of the marker colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and use red. When red mixes with white, it gets lighter. What color or what is the name of light red? What do we call light red? I hope you just said pink. We call it pink. So I colored all this side. I could just fold it even, squish it again, and I'm going to color it one more time. You might get a little on your fingers on accident. That's okay. Is it okay to color on ourselves for fun though? Nope. No traveling to the dark side in art. Make sure my marker is snapped back in. And I'm gonna go ahead and to get this to blend in, you have to play with it. So I'm gonna fold it and I'm going to push it and smush it and play with it. And I gotta use those finger muscles. Did you bring your finger muscles today? Got to use those finger muscles. And I'm going to smoosh it up. I can't just roll it around. It's not gonna smoosh that way. You gotta actually play with it, smooshing your fingers. And do you see all of that beautiful red turning into a beautiful pink? Wow, I love that color. If you wanted it to be more red, I guess I could do it again, but I'm happy with mine. Okay, folks, this is how you're gonna turn this into a snail. Squish it up. Roll it into a ball-ish shape. To roll it into a ball, you move your hand in a circle on top of the model magic and you will get a ball-ish shape. You could do this on your other hand or you could do it on your table. All right, guys, I have a ball-ish shape. It's not a perfect circle, that's okay. Next, to make that into a snail shape, I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna roll it back and forth just a little bit till it looks more like a baby carrot. Okay, so my snail, it's kind of boring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put pick a real shell to stick on the top. Now to do this though, you're gonna need a liquid glue. So I went ahead, I opened it, I made sure there's no glue boogers. You might have a different type of glue or we might have this. And I'm gonna put three glue raindrops. One, two, three. Glue raindrops, not glue puddles. And I know that this is the front that's towards the head because it's smaller. Now all the she shells will look different, but if there's a spiral, like there's a spiral down here, that's actually the back of the seashell or the back where the tushy's gonna be. So my snail still needs some stuff. All right, folks. What does my snail need? Think. Probably you're thinking eyes, but before I do the eyes, I'm actually going to pinch a couple antenna. Now this is harder. You do not have to do this step, but I think it makes it look much more snail-like. All I do is I take my two fingers and I pinch, and then I pinch the opposite direction to make it smaller. Again, try it. If it doesn't work, that's okay. You tried it. All right. Now I can go ahead and I'm gonna put one eye on one side and one eye on the other side. So I'm gonna put one dot, not in the front of my face, 
but on the sides of my faces. If you get confused, remember you can look up at the smart board and you can see the picture of my finished snail. One eye on either side, not the front. Do you see how it's on either side, not the front of his face? All right, guys. So on his tushy, I'm gonna pinch it also just to make it a little more interesting. And I'm pinching it. This you don't have to do, this is extra. But I'm pinching it to make it curve up. Now I picked a really small shell. Some of you might have bigger shells. Everybody's shells will be different, it's okay. All right guys, that's my cute little snail. Isn't it just so precious? But how do I know whose snail is whose? We got some more work to do, friends. There's my snail. And you might get a leaf. I might give you even a real leaf. Or maybe we'll have a different type of leaf. I'm gonna go ahead and do this type of leaf. So to do this, actually, you know what? I'm gonna stop the video and show you this part because some of you might be using really, some of you might be doing this in real life. So we'll have to pause it here and make some cutie little snails. All right, everybody, happy arting.